Hey there, this is Mark from Alien Seed Tech, and I'm going to show you the Poseidon 2.0 CV envelope generator and also the Cron CV toolbox. So the Poseidon uh, has been updated since the last time I made a video, which was quite a while ago, uh, but mostly I've been working on the Cron. So basically, in general, apologies, uh, it's taking me way too long to release these things, but I keep working at them and I keep improving them improving their graphics, their code, their features, etc. And I do plan on releasing fairly soon. I mean it. So let me play you a couple patches while I talk about them. Uh, first off, let's start with this mono patch. So all of these are using the new poly features, uh, which are not Blamsoft's poly CV. They are my own uh, data format. Basically, it packs in data and sends it between these Poseidons. Uh, it's fairly efficient and uh, versatile. So these these patches, let's see, they each have two channels set up, which are set up by the number of uh, these that are connected. So if I connected this to something, well, if I connected both, then it would show up as having three. But that's not pointed to anything, so I'm going to undo that. All right. So this is Legato, Legato, and Retrig. So now you can see. Basically with two channels, two voices, I get a nice release. And you can freely change whether this is re retrig or legato, it doesn't matter what order they're in. Um, so basically the way this works is uh, the, old, the old method, the 1.0 method, is uh, mono only. And that's without that enabled. And then it uses these displays and these outputs and ignores these and it says mono right here when I switch it to poly it's gonna say poly here and it's gonna use these and these so let's see I can do an overlay instead of the side-by-side -side dual display um, there's a scope there's all kinds of things I don't have time to show but basically um, Envelopes. Envelopes for modding. This first one gets the notes, receives the notes, and it sends the notes out to various synths that it's attached to. And all of these I'm using Thors, because I really like the Thor. It's really versatile. And fast. <laughs> Similar to the above, I have some legato and retrig going on. This is also using linked envelopes. So this this right here, well, they're both looping, but essentially it's launching the second envelope right here the, at the link start, and it's releasing it right here. Uh, but this particular Poseidon is looping, uh, which means it goes between here and here, the sustain. So it only releases after releases this one when this hits the release, which only happens after the note release. So uh, this this knob right here at sustain just helps uh, helps you visualize stuff. That's just the amount of time displayed. It has no effect on the sound or behavior. Did I just do something destructive? Nope. Yes. Oh, let's see, what did I not mention? I've done so many takes because I keep screwing this up. I keep going a couple minutes or a couple seconds past uh, the maximum upload length. Um, the colors are slightly off because of the format. I don't know how to fix that. And there may be some sound clipping, so I apologize for that. Um, and I'm just noodling around on the white keys. All right, here's a poly patch. That also uses a cron. Which is why these are vibrating up and down. They're coming in right here. So you can see right here it's being added to it. Right here it's changing the 
level. You can see this is going up and down. Now, um, let me think. There are there are two basically mono modes here, and the mono modes are for poly use only. So maybe that's a little confusing. The mono mode itself, if I click this off, is, uh, like I said, it uses a separate set of outs, the old set of outs, and the poly mode uses the upper set of outs, but it behaves as if it's mono. And it's, uh, like I showed before, it, you can have like releasing notes, etc. So the, there's two poly modes, um, the second, Oh, why did I start talking about this? It's not that important. <laughs> but there's multiple options here. All right, let me uh, let me move on to the cron. I think I'm gonna run out of time pretty quickly here. Keeps happening sooner than I think it's gonna happen. This is showing a waveform, but it's not actually using. I think I set that up in an earlier recording. So you can see there's some mod modding going on, and it's changing the display here. Um, got four crons going on. Just a couple subtractors and well, three subtractors. Really simple. section in general, user knobs, user pads, an envelope, the wave editor, which I will get to in a second, the grid, which is basically what the LFOs feed into, but other things can also feed into that, that's optional. Um, these are the gate generators or quantizers, I call them the quants, um, they can be used to quantize the signal or generate gates, they can be used as pattern sequencers, etc. Uh, the mod section, which is pretty complex there's a as you can see right here so this is uh this is the source mod and the Poseidon doesn't have this set up yet I didn't have enough room to really fully get into this and I may in, a, in the future but um so you have the source and then the destination and then the uh the other destination this is like the, the parameter to be modded this right here says which ones are to be modded and uh basically if you have a bank Right here, these LFOs, this is a bank of four sources, all LFOs. Uh, this says take two and three. Now, why am I doing that? I don't know. Uh, right now it says two to three to two and three. So some, some kind of feedback. This one here is, uh, I believe, one and four to two and three. So this one's going to mod that. That one's going to mod that. And it can all be done via one uh, mod section. This one right here is taking mod input right here, these four inputs, and applying them to each of the LFO's frequencies. This is the scale section here, this bottom row. Uh, and basically right there, which is this setup as a unipolar. So this is about halfway, exactly halfway. And this would just change the amount of the mod. Pretty similar to the Thor's scaling. All right, let me play another one and show you a couple other things. So, so this one's set up uh, with a gate gate type here. This random LFO only changes with a new note. You see, this notice is uh, flashing here, so I have it set up to receive MIDI notes. And then this is modding these. It's modding the frequency. It's also using the envelope to start off with a the zero level and then move up and back down. Now, a couple things here. Um, this section right here, I'm gonna ignore that section, but this right here allows one to have uh, essentially chaos instead of pure randomness 
you can have repeatable randomness so that uh, for any given seed, and there's 256 of them, if I turn it on like such, then uh, at any given play position, for each playthrough, you're going to get the same result. It's all going to look random, it's going to sound random, uh, and it's going to be different for each LFO and the grid, uh, but it's going to repeat each time you play through, which helps. I have a lot of songs, personally, where I have to do multiple takes and decide which one's the best, but then if I make a change, uh, I have to do a whole new set of multiple takes. So this gives some control over that, um, and it's also tempo safe. So if you alter the tempo, you still get the same values. Uh, let's see what else. The colors. Let me go to a. Let me play this for a second, and then I'll show you the colors. So both the Poseidon and the Kron. have these color presets, but they behave slightly differently because I ran out of space on the Poseidon. I'm kind of reluctant to make it bigger yet. So these are the color presets. Now, ah, oh, that's why. So, so secondary color is what's going to be shown there, and if you have a random, you have text, that's the secondary color. Oops. So that's one of my favorite color schemes. This is another one. And you have some control. Also, you can change the uh, the logo, the title, and the inside color independently. I think uh, I'm gonna. I may just set it to to off uh, by default, but we'll see. Um, Maybe that's too flashy to have all that color. But those are actually like little holes cut into the panel. Um, that's some geometry behind there. And I haven't gotten around to putting actual 3D stuff back there. But uh, anywho. So basically that lets you um, point out key components. Uh, you can set it to your favorite colors, etc. Matching other Rees, other devices. Uh, you see this one is on the indigo, the violet. Wave Editor has a whole lot of options here. So far I've just showed you the basic uh, drawing ability. But you can do a lot more. I don't have time to cover that. Um, let me uh, do a couple things here and then I'm going to have to stop this. So these are set up. These are set up to use the custom waveforms as note quantizers. There's several options here. I'm using them to as a weighted quantizer, even though right here it doesn't matter if it's weighted or not. So this is going to be a cycle of fifths. I can change this to 12, the number of notes, and it'll be an octave cycle. Active, and it's going to have a heavy emphasis on C. But if I did this... So anyway, uh, these, these waveforms can be used uh, for that. They can also be used for as pattern sequencers, uh, etc. And now I really have to stop the video so I don't run over the 15 minute mark. Um, so the Poseidon 2.0 is uh, going to be a free upgrade. If you buy the Poseidon now on sale, you will get it for free when it's released, which will be fairly soon.
Cheers. Thanks.